Today I'm going to show how to fix a variable valve timing problem in this Honda. Now in the case of this Honda, the check engine light was on and the code P2646 came up, which is a code for a problem in the variable valve timing system. Now there can actually be a lot of problems that cause it. Sometimes just really dirty oil will clog up the system that runs the variable valve timing. So a lot of times you can try changing the oil and filter to see if that fixes it. Because the VTEC system uses oil pressure to activate the variable cams in them, and if the oil pressure is too low and doesn't get up to the top of the cams, it can often trip codes and make the car run poorly, like this one. And in this case, the car wouldn't go over 3000 RPM. Once it got over that, the engine would bog down and start shutting itself off. So first we'll go to the engine. Now down here, there's a little filter screen, and it can clog up. But I took that out and it was perfectly clean, so there's nothing wrong with that. But when you go to the back side, there's this whole solenoid assembly down here. And I can see it's leaking oil all over the engine, so that's probably the culprit. When it goes bad, or when it leaks, the oil pressure doesn't make it to the variable cam assembly, then it doesn't work right, and the car will often run very poorly. Now there's just three 10 millimeter bolts that hold it in. You can't see it, but you can feel it with your hands. And once you unbolt all the three bolts, Here's a little assembly that we're going to have to replace. Then you get your nice new clean valve body assembly and just bolt it back on. And since you can't see in there, stick the three bolts in this first so then you can slide it around and line it up behind the engine. It's an easy job, but you just can't see what you're doing because there's no working room. And here's a, here it is on the back of the engine. You just tighten those three bolts up. Then of course get the electrical connection and snap it in. Make sure it clicks. Then get the stupid beauty cover and bolt that back up. And start her up and take her for a drive. Well, it certainly goes over 3,000 RPM now. So if the variable valve timing goes bad on your car, you might try a new solenoid control valve to fix it. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.